Hello, welcome to Zafiro Sound Studios. Today I'll be showing you how to link up your uh, Electribe 2 with your uh, PC. I'm using Ableton Live, uh, using MIDI connections. Uh, so if you've got an audio MIDI device, you need to connect the Electribe 2 via your MIDI ins and outs, and also take the audio out from your Electribe 2 into your uh, interface, uh, so we can monitor through Ableton. Um, this method is going to eradicate latency, and also tighten up recording so you can record on the fly and um, purely for making it easy to jam along with your, your samples loops whatever uh, soft synths um, it just i find it a very cool way of working so uh, hopefully it's helpful to you and uh, thanks for tuning in right so first things first we go into our uh, electribe and we go to global parameter and we make sure the clock mode is in external MIDI and that sync unit is to one step and then right and exit and I've got an initialized pattern um, I also change the bass drum to um, harder because it's quite a clean bass drum just for uh, this process of, of tightening everything up okay so uh, now we go into the preferences in Ableton and we look at uh, audio device make sure that yours is selected I've got a quad capture make sure your inputs are selected and your output configuration is outputs uh, the ones that you're using to monitor um, and your hardware setup um, this might be different on your on your uh, interface but mine here driver settings I set this to a 512 because it's a good starting point and you can use a fair amount of plugins with this uh, and effects so I keep it at 512 it's a good starting point um, it can be altered later but uh, this is where we're going to start um, so I can use that uh, slider to find the buffer size so 512 and then we look down here and by default the driver error compensation is set to zero and the overall latency is 35.2 so we want to make sure that that one is at zero we'll click on it and pull with the mouse until you get somewhere near if you go to sample then you can get a little bit closer and also use the cursor keys on the keyboard up and down arrows to do small increments and that's zeroed so next we want to make sure that uh, our input channel for our electribe is set to stereo and this is set to auto monitor and also on your um, audio MIDI interface if you have a direct monitor um, knob as it does on the quad capture then you need to switch that all the way around to playback otherwise you'll get a strange doubling uh, effect when you're trying to record your electribe uh, or monitor it so make sure that's switched all the way around to playback okay so if we name this channel tribe that's our monitor channel now you go to select a MIDI channel and we're going to stick in here um, a drum rack I say a, a 909 classic and then uh, basically we just um, record in a basic 4 to the floor uh, kick drum that's that and then uh, when you press play on here It'll play your tribe along with it. So make sure that your tribe is um, armed. I've got a sequence that I've just got some notes I didn't need in there. Right, so there you go. You can hear that playing along. And it sounds that the tribe is quite late so you can leave that going what we do now is we go to MIDI and we 
we find our outputs. I mean, these are all selected by default, I think, but you should have said earlier, really, that you need to make sure that all these are on, inputs are on, and the outputs are on. Then we click this little arrow here, and MIDI sync delay. Now, because it's behind, we need to bring it forward, so we need to minus this. So we drag this back with the mouse again, clicking on it. And you can already hear it tightening up quite a bit. Now it's not sounding too bad. Right. So if we stop audio now, we can do a short recording. Now I have found with the um, Electribe 2 that when you uh, first start it off, the first beat is never completely tight and synced in, but by the second beat, it seems to get in time. I must stress, you, you, you must have a computer that is geared towards um, computer recording and you're not just using it for everyday use. Uh, because I had a, an old, my old PC would not sync up no matter what I did to it. Um, you've got to make sure you've got a, a streamlined machine really for, for purposely for this purpose. Otherwise, you'll find that when you've got lots of different things installed, it messes with it and you'd never seem to get the sync quite right. I mean, Macintosh is supposed to be quite a lot better than, than, than PCs for this. Uh, but this method for me, now I've got a clean PC, um, really works so right so we've got to this stage so now we can do a short recording and as you can see um, what I said before about the first beat never quite being in it's always this way I don't know why I can't seem to get rid of that but for just jamming along with your synths and stuff, I mean, it's not a problem because you, you can get around it. I mean, we'll go to the second four anyway. Second four bar beats. Like this. And if we zoom in here, you can see it's not quite at the beginning. It's like a few milliseconds out there. So if you highlight this area, and then hover over it down here it'll tell you information about that segment so you've got a time selection start there end there length and the duration is not not one millisecond so we need to go here and it's either add or minus i think it's i think this will be add so we take one millisecond away and then we do another recording Again, we'll go to the second four. And we'll zoom in again. And you can see it's gone slightly the wrong way now. So we will go in the right way, but in smaller increments. So what you do is you click on there with your left mouse button, and then you hold down the shift button, and you do it in increments with the cursor keys can do another recording So you can see that it's still a little bit out. So we could go back the other way. Do another recording. As 
the second floor. And you can see that's pretty much on the button now. I mean, that is very, very close. But you get the picture. You can just tweak that right up so you get a, a really tight recording for your uh, Electribe. And that's basically it. Um, I'll I'll leave it at that for now, uh, and then I'll do some other uh, tutorials, um, just showing you how it's possible to um, play along with your samples and your soft synths, and also um, a way of using your Electribe 2 just to play in uh, to the computer as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Tune in next time.